Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Nicki Minaj is firing shots at everybody. She criticized departing executives doing a round of layoffs at Atlantic Records and Warner Music Group. So around 150 executives lost their jobs after top executives, including Kevin Lyles from Atlantic Records. Yeah, that bastard. He left. He stepped down. I wonder why. Hmm, because he defends Diddy hard. That guy is no good. So these layoffs followed Diddy's arrest in New York on Monday. Warner Music Group CEO Robert Kenzie announced more employees will be let go next week, but didn't say how many. However, Billboard reported that 100 50 to 175 people could lose their jobs. Along with Kevin Lyles, Margot Scott, Executive VP and General Counsel at 300 Electra Entertainment, is also leaving. And other executives hired by Lyles at 300 Entertainment were also let go. Mm. The layoffs shook the already struggling music industry, which has been impacted by declining sales, yeah. Oh yeah, Babylon is fallen. Diddy's arrest caused panic, with record executives locking down their social medias, removing photos, and deleting messages, you guys, okay? It's going down, but listen to this. They are whispers that your favorite witch, Beyonce, and Jay-Z, Mm. may appear in videos taken from Diddy's L.A. mansion in late March. Yeah, your favorite witch is on these freak-off tapes. Of course, are you surprised? Are you surprised? Come on now. Don't be surprised. <laughs> So, anywho, Nicki Minaj has jumped into the beef with Jay-Z after he picked Kendrick Lamar over Lil Wayne for the Super Bowl show in New Orleans. Now, Nick is going off, throwing all kinds of shots at him. <laughs> they said Nicki is loyal. Nicki's been loyal. She's been a loyal ride or die since Wayne's Young Money days, but she's got her own issues with Jay-Z. It all goes back to her beef with Rock Nations, Megan the Stallion, a few that is still going strong. <laughs> but Megan is now saying, oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what started the beef. She's a liar, okay? And she tried too hard. So in a series of tweets, Nikki called Jay-Z spiteful and evil. She called him a bitter old hater in a C-O-O-N. Mm. She referred to his wife, Beyonce, as an ugly, laffy, taffy alien. <laughs> what? What the heck is a laffy, taffy alien? Yeah, you heard right. <laughs> Nikki took jab at Beyonce. Oh, my gosh. Wow. What is a laffy, taffy alien? I mean... Wait, Nikki needs to come out and tell us what the hell is a Laffy Taffy Ill <laughs> because that's what she called Beyonce. <laughs> I mean, is it because, let me see, is it because Beyonce always fake laughing in public? Maybe that's what the Laffy means? I don't know. Oh, Beyonce, they said, you know, she's always high on T R U G S. So maybe that's the part of the laugh. I don't know. And the alien, hmm, as maybe a witch. Yeah, aliens are witches. <laughs> oh, my God. Aliens are witches, and we know Beyonce is a witch, and she be ship-shifting, okay? So <laughs> it's clear that Nikki was talking about Beyonce, who she never really liked. I believe the only reason they collaborated on those tracks was because Nikki had a contract with Tidal, remember? Because, listen, rumors have been flying that Beyonce been jealous of Nicki Minaj. Mm. <laughs> She's jealous of how, you know, people are drawn to Nicki. You know, like, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I can't. I mean, while both of them have demonic alter egos, Nicki can turn hers off. 
but Beyonce's her alter ego. Hmm. Beyonce can't seem to do the same. She's a demon twenty four seven. I believe twenty four seven. Yes. <laughs> Let me read some of these tweets. So Nikki, Nikki tweeted, "One N word took a knee." The other N word took the bag. He gonna get you N words and lying every effing time. <laughs> wow, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nicki got you punishing Little Wayne. Little Wayne, the goat. Nola was good. Eminem stood firm on having Fifty Cent come out. A white man, ish is sad. How's N word things? How's N word things? But it's good for them. No loyalty. Well, them N words will keep sunning you. Hashtag DTLR. Hashtag Gag City. DC. L F L M F A O, you know, laughing my, you know, off. Good as for good as Fidel gal, you are good as for them. She continued, "Oh, you think speaking up on injustice within your workplace should only be done if it's for a re a person who would do it for you? I'm really the realest N word." Next tweet, got everything in the world. Still spiteful and evil, disgusting. Be happy and a be happy a beg. Go be effing happy and word and rap business and women's business. When you got the politicians and the police, you good though. Plus that ugly laughy taffy ill. <laughs> so she said, Jay Z got the politicians and the police, and plus. He got that ugly laugh. It's happy alien Beyonce. Oh my gosh! And then she says, "I love watching the whole industry play dumb, after time after time." L O L. The truth is, the truth. The truth is the truth. No matter, no matter who tells it, picking and choosing who you accept truth from, then bam, pow, might tell you a joke. But won't tell you a lie, boah ha 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 ha. Okay, Nikki. Okay. Next tweet. Go and enjoy your effing money before it's too late. Oh, Nikki know what's coming. Nikki know what's coming. She's telling Jay Z to go enjoy his money because he's next. He is next. And Nikki's right. Then she says, "Yup." Everyone's aware. Clearly, they don't care. So why should I? What am I doing? Then she says, "And by the way, you don't know the half of what Little Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tour without no papers signed. He was on all of my mixtapes without no papers signed. This man has literally changed the face of hip hop." I don't know about all that. Anyway, the hair too. The hair. Oh gosh, no. That that you call that hair? That little what little one is rocking is. Oh my gosh, we'll get to that. <laughs> I know if you know, you know. He inspired so many to tat their faces and get locks. Oh my gosh, she's praising that. The face tattoos. <laughs> Jeez. Oh wow! Inspired your favorites to wanna be a great MC. He never was in this for the money. It's always been for the love of music. Oh my gosh! Okay, she's going too far. Then she says, "Yup," and I never care by the by the time they figure it out. Laughing my a off. It's good for them. Y'all ready? Y'all know his next move is going to be to tell y'all a certain someone is being treated so unfairly, so that y'all can go back into that trance. Oh yes, shots shots fired. Cause remember when Jay Z was at the Grammys and he um he was like he got on the stage 
because he won something. He won some BS, doc, some made up award by Dr. Dre, that abuser, yeah, that bastard. So, yeah, and he was saying how, you know, talking about Beyonce never won uh, the, the, the best album of the year, whatever. Yeah, so that's what she. <laughs> So see, she's taking shots at Beyonce and Jay Z. Okay, she says, "Y'all know his next move is going to be to tell ya a certain someone is being treated so unfairly, so that y'all can go back into that trends." Mmm, Nikki. So in a follow-up tweet, she added, God forbid, if Wayne was to leave this earth right now, the culture would be in mourning. That's why so many people keep saying to give our legends their flowers while they are still around to smell them, sitting around all day, playing games with people, life, and legacy. God ain't sleep. G. Robinson, you will learn that too very soon. Nikki also retweeted Birdman's response to Kendrick performing the halftime show. Okay, first, I need for Nikki to stop using God's name. Stop putting God in your mess. God is nowhere near your mess. He is not in it. So keep him out of it. Now, she was praising Wayne. Um, he influenced people to get face tattoos as if that's a good thing. You know how demonic, you know how crazy people look with these tattoos on their faces? So I believe Nikki is only upset. Well, they're all upset. Uh, Birdman, uh, who else? Uh, whoever else, right? They are mad because if Wayne was uh, performing, he would bring all of them up on the stage. So they would get a chance to be performing on uh, the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Without Wayne, they don't have a chance. They don't have a chance performing at that demonic show, right? So that's why they're making a big deal. Because, I mean, come on. Like, little Wayne could have his time, right? Because just because the Super Bowl is going to be... Um, in Louisiana, doesn't mean that the performer needs to be from New Orleans. It's never been like that. It's never been like that. The performers has nothing to do with the location of the Super Bowl, but they're making a huge deal about it because that's their only chance they have to be on that stage. Because without Wayne, they'll never experience it. So even if Kendrick Lamar bring up Little Wayne, Little Wayne can't bring them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Little Wayne can't bring them. Kendrick can bring Little Wayne on the stage, you know, as a guest, but Little Wayne can't bring his own, you know, so that's why they are mad. Okay? And so Nikki's taking shots. <laughs> At everyone, Nikki's mad. Nikki is mad. I feel like Nikki needs to come out and say, just expose a lot of people because Nikki has a lot, a lot of secrets. She she knows a lot, but she's in it. She's in it, and she can't speak because you know, she can't speak. She took the oath. She can't speak. She can't expose him because I remember when um was her show, um the pink, the pink Friday show she had on uh, Apple iTunes, and she um there was one time when she was like she called, uh what's his name, Lino Lino Cohen whatever his name is, and she said I'm going to expose everything, on the next show. I'm going to air it all out. Next show comes nothing. She didn't even bring it up. And I was like, wow. Yeah, she was threatening to expose Lahore. What's the guy named? Lahore, Lenore, Cohen, Lenore, something like that. I can't. 
<laughs> I hate when I can't think. Wait, Lee Ho Cohen. Lee Ho Cohen. Yeah, it sound right. That sound right. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, they can need to just expose everything and stop playing. Okay, because Nikki, you're gonna go down too. You're gonna go down with the others. Okay, because Babylon is fallen. Okay, so um, yeah, so I don't see the big deal that Wayne is not performing at the New Orleans uh, location for the Super Bowl. Like, who cares? Who cares? Like, who wants to see Wayne? I mean, he's all like. D R U G G E D. You know, like, can he even perform long? Can he even? I mean, the guy looks like he's just gone. You know, he needs to go to rehab first, then Super Bowl. Okay, so I don't know. That's my take on everything. So, yeah. So Nikki took shots at Jay Z and Beyonce. Nikki's not playing with them. She's not. She know what's up. She know what's next. She know what's coming. And if I were her, I would jump ship and, yeah, and swim so you don't sink with them. <laughs> That's all I have, you guys. What are your thoughts on this entire situation? Leave your comment below. Thank you for tuning in. Please like. Please subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.